what you are looking at right now is my Samsung Tab S8 running on Android 12. And this right here is Windows 10 being natively emulated on this Android tablet. You guys won't believe me so let me just go ahead and click on the home button and show you guys that I am not connected to any internet connection. This is not an RDP, it's truly being emulated. So you might wonder how is it possible, right? Well, let me explain. Let's just go ahead and open Limbo emulator. So you need to add that QCOW2 file in a folder. Just create any folder if you have the QCOW2 file. What you have to do is just go ahead and create a new machine by giving it a machine name. So I'll be calling this machine Windows 10 and afterwards we can just go ahead and click on confirm. So once that has been done, it will ask you to select the user interface. Now you can keep it as default. Make sure that you have enabled the full screen option. All right. Uh, afterwards, we'll just go to the CPU slash board section, which is the important part. So architecture should be x86. And what you have to do is just select machine type as default and CPU model as default. This will set everything up. It will be way easier this way. And you just have to select eight CPU cores. Now this depends on your Android device. I have a powerful device so I can uh, like select 8 cores but you can choose up to 4 cores if you have a mid-range device. But anyways uh, the amount of RAM which you can uh, use is limited to 2GB in the Limbo 5.1.0 and make sure that you also enable MTT CG. It will basically improve the performance. Well here comes the main part. You just have to go to the disk option, select hard disk A then click on open. And now we'll have to select the QCOW2 file which but anyways once you have selected the disk we can just go to the removable now you don't need to add any removable storage now here in boot you will have to select boot from hard disk so that uh, it can recognize the file and emulate it anyways in graphics video driver should be HDD standard video driver no need to change it audio you can set it to AD lib once just go ahead and enable high priority mode will make sure that uh, emulation will be at full speed. Well once you have applied all these settings there is nothing much to do it other than just clicking on the play button and it will start the VM. You can see the Limbo emulator logo and boom guys within just few seconds uh, you can see the Windows 10 booting animation and here we go guys uh, our now Android device has loaded Windows 10 and again uh, this can be ran uh, this can be run offline so you don't need to worry about internet connection or anything like that let me fast forward and you can see that our windows has successfully booted now many of the actions are limited because i am using limbo emulator version 5.1.0 so it doesn't uh, let you allocate like 4 to 6 gb of ram uh, which you can allocate in limbo 6.1.0 uh, so you might face some lag issues but again uh, if you have a low and mid range device it will be very hard for this to be possible so a good device is surely required now let me just go ahead and click on this windows icon and as you can see uh, most of the things will be loaded but it depends on the qcow2 file so just keep that in mind but anyways you can also use internet explorer you can click back and select the keyboard option then your uh, phone's keyboard will pop up you can use this virtual keyboard to enter or type anything anywhere like internet explorer file manager etc so you can also select a refresh rate of your device by clicking on the device logo and you can set it all the way up to 101 uh, hertz of refresh rate which is also amazing. In file manager you will see your local disk C which is a folder which you allocated. But anyways that's how you run Windows 10 on Android. Anyways that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Goodbye.